So old thinking was, was, you know, it, it's like, it, like, like the hockey coach idea, every three to five years, move them on. They, they come in with a burst of energy in a new site. They get everybody excited. Yeah. But what I know is happening on the back end is lots of the staff are going, we've seen this game. We've seen this right. before three years from now, we're going to get somebody new, different flavor, different level of excitement. I'll wait it out. But mm -hmm. you know, now, and, and for principals to know, Hey, if you say you're going to do something, I'm going to leave you there long enough that you actually have to do it. Right. And so um, I, I, we're like, I'm finding that we are having, maybe it's does it's not as flashy, but it's more, it's more sustainable. The changes that we're making because administrators are more consistent in their positions. Okay. So I, so this is actually something that I'm really kind of adamant about. Uh, one of the things I struggle with that I watch in education is I, like, obviously, you, you know, we've talked a lot about my work in innovation and, you know, I talked about that and I, it's weird because I'm actually very anti latest and greatest. Let's do the new thing. Cause I'm like, we never got good at the old thing, right? Like give right. me some time. And so when I actually look, so like when I'm actually looking at the process of how you're doing it, I act weirdly enough having somewhere that are longer, I actually feel that's when you can do the more innovative things because you have to set up some like basic things that in your school. And really when I'm looking at innovation, it's about depth. It's actually not about the new, like it's not about attaching to the new thing. Right. And like, have you found like through this process having, you know, there's those relationships kind of building long-term that it actually has maybe helped you to, you know, really do some things that maybe kind of put, cause I know that you, you, you've done some like interesting things in your school district and a lot of people like kind of look to it, but having that consistency, does it actually lend to innovation in any way? Yeah. It, 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 I think you're exactly right. It's, it's so funny that way. I think, you know, right from, you know, me being in the job for more than a decade, you would think that we would, you know, that you can actually still have an innovative, you know, an innovative mm -hmm. mindset as you might like to have. Mm -hmm. Do I get it? Do I get a, a horn for that? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, That's all I got. <laughs> oh. That's if button that was ready. So, but I'll give you that. I got it. All right. So, you know, that you actually have that, um, you, you know, right from me being in the role yeah. that the, the whole, the whole piece around innovation, right. You know, through principles, I have, I think you're absolutely right. Because also then I have time that if we make a mistake, you have time to fix your own mistakes right. and go to, and, and then live with them. And then, yeah. and then, create something new. You're not just like fixing the last, you know, man or woman's mistakes who are in the role and then, and then being gone. And then the next person going in and going, Oh, I just inherited a mess. and I got to clean it up. Everybody <laughs> always says they got to clean up. for no the last said that. That's never been said. Everybody. Right. And so, right, right. you know, in our, in our schools, I'm trying to let you have, let you have your own mess. So you can clean up. Right. And that, and that, I think that, that to me is so important because I think there is that disconnect and, and I think for to be, and it's interesting because I, I think like you, I've evolved in that thinking, right? I, yeah. I don't know if I would have said the same thing 10 years ago, right? You know, like it is good to like have, you know, new ideas and stuff like that too. But I think part of the reason why um, a lot of those places that have consistency in the leadership uh, are innovative because you have relationships, you know, you know, people got your back if something does go wrong and that they can kind of help guide through it. But if, you know, if you're new to the role, I don't really know you. I, I kind of just want to toe the line, do what you kind of ask me. And then, like you said, wait it out to the next person. I'm going to do what they're doing. I don't think it gives anyone, you know, kind of that, that consistency. So I, I, I actually love that. Right. And it's, I, I, it's funny because I think kind of, as you said, I don't think we've been having this conversation this way 10 years ago. No, I, for sure not. I agree. Right. right? And I think that, that to me, you know, I, I hope, you know, I hope I, you know, and maybe uh, who we'll see what happens in 10 years if we actually still believe in that that way, too.